provider hosted apps for SharePoint 2013. Okay, to begin with, we'll go to our Zoo site and um, web apps. <coughs> we'll quick create a app. Um, it's basically to create the space for the app, um, so that once it's once you've got the the space there, you can actually deploy into there. So <coughs> it's telling me it's okay. So we'll create that app. Okay. Now that will just be creating on the Azure Cloud. Once that's created, we should then have an area which we can develop on. Um, and it's as easy as that. You can see now it's been created. So what we'll now do is download the published profile, which will allow us to quickly configure the settings for the app when we go into Visual Studio. <coughs> so this is just uh, th where the app will be. It's telling us it's been created successfully. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just keep that handy. Okay. That's where we'll be deploying to. So I'll keep a note of that as well. <coughs> okay. Now we'll move over to Visual Studio and I'll be able to show you that. Uh, first, there's the Atlas Apps Catalog site, which you'll be connecting to. And uh, it's just to take a note of the URL for that. So we want to create an app for SharePoint, uh, .NET Framework 4.5. And I'll just type that in. Okay, that's the app catalog. It's the same as what we have there. And provider hosted. We want web forms. We want to use the um, uh, is the ed, um, access uh, control services. <coughs> it's just want us to connect to the cloud there. This can take um, a couple of minutes just to uh, create the app. It's basically what you're doing is creating a Hello World app, uh, which is great. It's, it's it's a template really, which um, is ready to go. So there's no real coding. All we're actually doing here is um, creating a, the basic app for us to deploy. So there's not really going to be any coding here. And um, that's one of the, the good things now with the uh, Visual Studio is uh, <coughs> it's quite integrated now um, compared to 2007 versions. <coughs> so just checking there, uh, all okay. Uh, before we begin, uh, we've got the two. Uh, split areas now. So we've got the web, which is for the Azure site. You can see everything's contained in there, so that'll get deployed to Azure. <coughs> so basically, it's ready to go, like I say. Um, all we need to do is publish that. <coughs> the app demo uh, will contain a manifest file, which will just be deployed on the SharePoint server. So we'll go ahead and publish that. And we can just basically use our import, uh, the published profile, which we saved earlier from the Azure site. Um, that'll sort out all the connection strings for us. And all we need to do is publish. And it's as easy as that for deploying the um, the, the solution to the, to the cloud. I'll put that into debug mode. <coughs> Here 
the preview will just show you the uh, DLLs that will be deploying. Um, so I'll just go ahead and publish that. <coughs> what that will do is it will confirm that there is a connection available it's and it's all gone up there and deployed. Um, but we still need to do some work to connect the SharePoint and uh, kind of app to the Azure app. <coughs> so we'll just wait for, to make sure that that's uh, going to successfully um, publish. <coughs> okay. So now if we go back to um, our app catalog on the SharePoint, what we need to do is make sure there's a trust um, between the, the the two um, the two areas, and so what we'll do is we'll we'll be able to get a new ID in secret, and all it is is it's app reg new. Dot aspx. <coughs> we can just generate the GUIDs for the ID in secret, and um, put in a suitable title and the app domain and redirect URI. The app domain is basically the same as the URI without um, the HTTPS. If we check that over here, we can, uh, we can grab that. <coughs> and just paste it in. <coughs> As you can see, um, it's also an example which you can put in, but I found that you can just leave it like that, um, and as long as you've got the correct um, details in there, it should be fine. Okay, um, so there we go, we can generate that, it's um, done the details for us there, and we'll make a note of them, as we'll be using them for quite a few things later. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll put that back to our app catalog site, and that's where the provider hosted app will be available from um, once it's been deployed. <coughs> Okay, so we open the web config and we will type in the ID into the ID key, the secret into the secret key. And we'll just replace the existing one for that. Okay, so that's the web demo part of it done. Uh, so we just new now to the SharePoint area, uh, it'll be the manif manifesto. Uh, manifest file I should say and what we need to do is make full control for the web <coughs> okay and now what we need to do is go into the code which is the easiest part to do and uh, put in the start page um, so we're bas basically replacing the remote app URL with our URL copy of that there. Oh, just get that. Okay. <coughs> and the client ID. I'll put that in. <coughs> and as soon as that we've got that in, we've basically made the the connection to exactly uh, where where we want it to to go and um, it's got the ID in to, to confirm that uh, with the auth and that's basically how they're going to communicate together so what we'll read we'll just republish the demo app to make sure that's um, our web configs all up to date and um, that should be up to date and it should deploy yep so that's created successfully so now <coughs> it's just a case of publishing the um the the SharePoint side of things, and what we'll do is create a, a new profile for that, <coughs> um, and 
options you can call the profile I mean, whatever you you want really it's just for ease uh, we can keep that there's not a space and just next on that we'll do a client ID in secret from before so it's just all connecting up and finish that and what we can do is we can basically just run that now uh, there's there's ways you can we can deploy that um, as well but <coughs> these kind of options are, are just there uh, if you want to deploy it to um, the site but what we can do is we can just we can just debug that that's usually what I, I'll just like to do is just um, debug at this point just press start on the, the solution upload that now you can see at the bottom and installation is in progress okay it's now taking us to our app catalog site as you can see and uh, needs us to log in again <coughs> okay and uh, we just need to make sure that uh, it's a trusted app where we've got full control over the, the site with this Okay, so an error has occurred, and what this is usually down to is if the URL is, you've got an issue with that. Uh, so we'll just stop that there. Okay, if we check the app, app manifest or uh, app, <laughs> app manifest file, we can check that, and um, you can see on the start page there um, that the HTTP is not going to work there is it's HTTPS mm. just check everything else on here but there's nothing else we need to do it's as simple as that so go into the code here um, it's just as simple as that that it was just missing the HTTPS <coughs> um, I mean the, at the end of the day there's there's nothing really which has changed uh, it's just a default app um, so we're just now starting that it's installing it again And the default app will basically just write out our title. And as you can see, there's uh, the title there at the top of the screen. Okay, thank you for watching. Um, I hope that uh, provided some insight into the, the apps.